Hi, today we're going to be learning about how the cell packages and excretes all of its vesicles outside and inside the cell, which is called the endomembrane system. So if that's the aim, how do cells package, store, and secrete materials, as I said before. So basically, the definition is that it is a collection of membranous stru structures involved with transport in the cell. So basically what that means is that the membranous structures are the different nucleuses and the different organelles that help take a vesicle and transport it inside or outside the cell membrane. And the molecules transported are by vesicles. That's what I said. So the endoplasmic reticulum, or also known as the ER, is a membranous system. It has two parts, and they're both so different from each other, so we don't want to get them confused. There is the rough ER, which is where proteins are produced, and it is studded with ribosomes. Ribosomes produce these proteins. It kind of reminds, it gets its name rough because it's studded with the ribosomes and it's not like smooth. So if you were going to rub your hand across of it, just remember it as it, you would like feel bumps, you know, and it would be rough. The smooth ER makes lipids. It's smooth because, as you can see, it has no ribosomes. And those are its little membranes. So this is a site of synthetic processes, detoxification, and storage. The Golgi apparatus is made up of a series of flattened pouches. These are the flattened pouches. See how they're kind of like curved a little? So the vesicles that contain protein are coming in from the ER, like this one coming in and then it fused through these membranes after the proteins are repackaged then those vesicles move to different locations in the cell like the plasma membrane where exocytosis occurs exocytosis it basically just means that it's going out of the cell so you can remember it as exo which usually means out. Lysosomes are membrane-bound organelles made in the Golgi. So it contains enzymes involved in digestion. It fuses with the vesicles and digests the contents of the vesicle. So let's say a vesicle that contains protein is brought in contact with the lysosome the lysosome would digest the protein. Apoptosis is basically just cell death and it involves lysosomes. It's completely normal. This is only found in animals, I believe. It breaks down organic molecules by the process of oxidation, which means that it loses energy. Remember Leo goes GER, which means Leo stands for losing energy oxidation. GER stands for gaining energy reduction. So oxidation just means it loses energy to produce hydrogen peroxide. Catalase breaks down it's hydrogen peroxide into H2O and oxygen. So water and oxygen because water is H2O. So I was wrong. Um, these are also present in plants. They're present in all animals, not just not just um, animals. They're present in plants as well and 
eukaryotic cells. My bad. Okay, so vacuoles in protists, they regulate water and are contractile. That means that they, um, it's kind of like, you know that plant that eats the bugs, how their mouth closes? That's what contractile means. That they go open and out, open and out. And they're specialized, which means that they have different functions. So plant vacuoles are bigger. It's only one. See how this is so big and it's filled with water? Okay, and it stores all the plant waste because plants don't have an excretory system like us. With us, we have several small ones. See how this one's so small and that one's so big? This one contains nutrients, water, or waste. And it's used for storage. So you learned about all of these organisms. Now, the question is, why are those organisms relevant to the endomembrane system? That's because teamwork, as they say, the teamwork makes the dream work. So the proteins that are made in the rough ER and the lipids, which are made in the smooth ER, are carried in transport vesicles to the Golgi. The Golgi modifies, sorts, and packages those vesicles and sends them to different locations. It might send them to a vacuole to store. It might send them to a lysosome to digest the contents. Or it might send them to a plasma membrane. But with the plasma membrane, it requires a separate, entirely new vesicle, which is the secretory vesicle. And that is where it carries the contents in that vesicle. And then exocytosis occurs, and these products go outside the cell. Notice how the red stuff staying in and only the small proteins inside of it are going out. The vesicles never leave the cell. It's only the contents of the vesicle that leave the cell. Okay, well, make sure to do your classwork and homework and reference the answer keys relating to that. Have fun. This was Aisha Chinani. I hope you guys enjoyed.